Today we are going to discuss the progress that AWP is making to include engineering. Josh, we've talked before about some of the issues with AWP and engineering, so what is being done to fix this? The first thing we're trying to address is the perception that AWP is only a benefit to construction and that it can be seen as an impediment by engineering. And how are you going about making that case? We've done a number of presentations and webinars about the value that AWP can bring directly to engineering, regardless of whether or not construction will be doing work-based planning. What are some of the highlights of this application? Sure. O3 can provide many features to help engineering, including design work packages to break the engineering scope up into manageable pieces, vendor work packages to better manage the data transfer with vendors, management of constraints on engineering work, and level four planning for better schedule alignment. It sounds like O3 is leading this effort. Who else is involved at this stage? We certainly are at the forefront when it comes to the technology. We're also working closely with the Construction Industry Institute, or CII, who confirmed AWP as a best practice in 2015. I'm chairing a CII joint working group that is working to expand the best practice by increasing AWP use in engineering. We're working with engineering contractors and AWP experts to define AWP value for engineering and the best ways to achieve it. When are you planning to publish your findings? Initial results will be released in late 2022 with a full report in 2023. That's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us.